Tyndall Air Force Base officials say this morning was a crowning moment in the Hurricane Michael rebuild. They cut the ribbon for what they are calling the first new facilities at the base. As News 13's Alex Sly tells us, the two facilities will benefit first responders and the safety of everyone. Five years ago, Tyndall Air Force Base was destroyed by Hurricane Michael. Wednesday, base leaders celebrated an important milestone. So it's encouraging now, five years down the road, with a lot of planning, a lot of effort, a lot of resources have been expended, and we're starting to see the fruit of that labor. Chief of Natural Disaster Recovery Division with the Air Force Civil Engineer Center, Robert Bartlow, has been part of Tyndall Rebuild since day one. I can tell you, being here after the storm as an engineer, it was difficult to envision. Um, how we were going to get after rebuilding this base. I and mean, it was, it was a, a daunting task. After the hurricane damaged both fire training facilities in several stations, the base was forced to relocate firefighters and trainees to temporary facilities. The fire station cost $12.9 million to build, while the training facilities cost $22.9 million. They're all built to withstand 165 mile per hour winds uh, and built above the uh, projected storm surge levels. So these, these facilities aren't going anywhere. Officials say the new facility came with upgraded equipment that will help the first responders protect and serve. We give students a, uh, an opportunity to really test themselves and push themselves outside of their comfort zone and, and understand in a controlled simulated environment exactly what a real deployment feels like. At Tyndall Air Force Base, Alex Schley, News 13, Panhandle Strong. The total cost of rebuilding Tyndall is about $5 billion. It is the single most expensive project in Air Force history.